Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for June 2021. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages could be vice versa and they are general so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. Let me see, what's the energy, the overall energy for the current connection and any future connection for Aquarius? What's the overall energy for Aquarius? Overall energy. Oh my gosh, today is like, they're not flying. Overall energy for Aquarius. All right. Oh boy, grief and sadness. Grief and sadness. And we have healing. Robotic and ego. Someone's ego may have caused you to get hurt. Your person may have a huge ego. But right now I'm seeing that there needs to be healing this month from this sadness, whatever is making you sad. Um, you need to heal from that with this connection. We have robotic. So for some of you, this um, relationship could have been just very, how do I put it? It just is always the same way, meaning whenever you want more from the relationship it kind of doesn't happen could have to do with your person's ego but let me look at your main spread what are the messages for aquarius for june what can aquarius expect in june in their love life okay. six of cups in reverse Delayed reconciliation. Oops. Okay. Could be a Leo for some of you that you're dealing with or soon to be dealing with. We have Virgo as well. Okay. King of Pentacles, wow, well, my favorite card, favorite person, I should say. So your person, their, their feelings for you, quite stable, quite grounded. Their feelings for you are not going anywhere at any time. However, this person is failing to see the issue in the relationship. So maybe you're trying to bring something to their attention or speak about your feelings, but they're just not seeing your side. They're seeing you as a hermit. So seeing you as distant, that you may have withdrawn, pulled away. I feel like I get the feeling this person is just not understanding your emotions or what you're getting emotional about. It's almost like they're trying to, but they're just not getting it at the moment. Your overall energy is the Nine of Swords in reverse. So for the month of June, I'm seeing this theme where you're needing to heal and come out of anxiety, get yourself out of this space where you're feeling anxiety or any stress on the brain you know any overthinking being stuck in your head needing to move past that being an air sign that isn't very hard for you it's very doable for you so that's like your mission right now is to get out of this headspace um, and heal because you have like the more free type of spirit, free spirit where you can kind of detach and get on with life. But we have um, the five of wands in reverse. So emotionally, you are on your way because there may have been some emotional conflicts for you, but it's in reverse. So you're on your way out of that energy. You actually are currently healing. So like I said, it's kind of, it's kind of easy for you not easy but like you can get there better than most signs or faster than most signs you can heal and get past things so we have the ace of swords um, as your 
what you're wanting so you do want some type of new start here i do see you having faith that things can really be mended things can be fixed that you guys can move forward um you're seeing your person as a son seeing them in a positive light i guess some of you know that they just don't understand what you're going through because they are showing up at like they're not showing up as a bad person they are showing up as quite good with the king of pentacles just that they're just not seeing the issue here so center we have ten of ten of swords both of you are feeling the pain of this situation especially if there is a separation involved both of you are feeling that it is just as painful for them as it is for you um but what's blocking is the five of swords so conflict not seeing eye to eye someone kind of giving up and distancing themselves we have the four of swords so you go from this nine of swords to the four of swords nine of swords is more stressful more stressful overthinking four of swords is more peaceful you know peace of mind still taking a break but you know in a peaceful way no stress just just re rejuvenating recuperating that's what i should have said recuperating <laughs> you know so like i said you your stress relief will happen quickly why the five of five of swords why the five of wands in reverse we have the four let's see See, the more you distance yourself, the more you come out of this conflict. I feel you heal best when you take time for yourself. So there's you venturing out to do so. Really gets your mind off of things. Why the Two of Swords? The Moon in Reverse, High Priestess. Why the Two of Swords? We'll be dealing with the Aries, some of you, but we have. Um, this person feels like they, they don't have control when it comes to the issues in this relationship. Especially if it's a situation where they don't understand why you feel the way you do. That makes them feel powerless and kind of helpless, I guess. I feel like it's just a lack of understanding. Maybe it's temporary. Maybe they'll start to understand. But we have... The moon in reverse, high priestess, secrets, and mystery here. Someone is... This could be you because you are the one who watches tarot readings <laughs> or cross watches. But there is like some type of secret. Some of you, there's someone watching who has to keep their spirituality a secret. I don't know if your person is more on the religious side. And you have to be spiritual in secret but there's some kind of secret and i don't feel like it's um a damaging secret like cheating or anything like that i feel like it's more like someone just hiding their beliefs or you know hiding the spirituality or something of that nature i don't feel like it's a detrimental situation why the hermits why are they seeing aquarius as the hermits why are they seeing aquarius as the hermits oh the five of cups the fives come out the fives they're seeing you as a hermit because you seem sad to them you seem to be kind of crying over something upset about something seeing you as kind of pulling away we got the star here could be a fellow Aquarius but I feel like you may have moods that are like up and down this person is kind of confused by that because we got this cheerful energy but then the lack of cooperation I get that sometimes some of you 
you have days when you speak to this person, you have days when you don't speak to them, or you have days where you kind of show them this like sad vibe and then days where it's more happy. So they're having a hard time understanding your emotions right now, this person. Why the five of swords? Could be a Leo for some of you or a Libra. We have the strength card in reverse. We have the Empress. So somebody's weakness here, yeah. Somebody's weakness is affecting this relationship. Anxiety and depression. If you're dealing with that, this person doesn't understand it. It's like maybe they're just, they've never had to experience it. They've never been through that before, like feeling anxiety or stress or depression. Maybe, maybe they just don't understand because it's never happened to them. So if you're dealing with that, then now you know your person just doesn't get it and that's fine. At least they are like calm about it. I don't see someone who is like, you know, telling you to get over it or anything. I see like, I see that they genuinely don't understand. But you'll get through it, I feel. I feel you'll get through this. Because we have this empress empress here between these two cards that speak of weakness and anxiety. So it's like that is still inside of you, that empress, where you still are, you know, you still have confidence. You still can reach that level. You still can get out of this um, energy of depression or anxiety. It's like this empress is, is just, it's still there. You can channel that confidence. You can really get yourself out of this healing as well. When you heal, the more you work on healing, the less depression you experience um, because you're healing that wound and you're causing it to show up less and less the more you heal. So that's why it's just beneficial. It takes forever, but it's beneficial and it, starts to show like you'll start to see a difference feel a difference but anywho, this tower really wants to show up so there may be some tower moment coming up we'll look into that in a second why the four of swords why the four of swords some of you may um do meditations for anxiety with this four of swords but you are working on getting rid of feelings of rejection Four of Swords again. I feel like some of you are going to be meditating a lot. We're just really like clearing your head and clearing your mind. The only like your person, you, don't, you can't expect them to understand. The only person who can heal is the only person who can heal this is you. The only person who can help you is you because you're the only person who understands and other people who deal with it, but you only, you're the only person who understands your personal situation. And I see you really working on that throughout June. I see a person being very like, kind of laid back about it. I see that a lot of you may have this person's support when you need it. Why this tower? What's with the tower for Aquarius? You know what I'm just getting? For those of you who are completely single, uh, I don't know if you're still watching, but if you're completely single, you may be, you may meet somebody who's like this, because I'm getting this personality showing up that is just very calm. Like they may not understand what you go through, but they're very calm about it and just like trying to understand and listening. So if you're completely single, you may find yourself meeting someone like this which will be very like nice, very sweet. Why the tower? Why the tower? Okay. Hmm. I'm getting for some of you that you may like this tower moment may be a message from someone from your past. A shocking message from someone from, from your past who you may have been in love with in the past. 
I feel like they hurt you in the past. Not this person here. I mean, it could be, but I don't see it being that person, honestly. This person here. I see it more being someone from way in the past. Like maybe a year, two years ago that hurt you badly. And you really wanted it to work with them, but it didn't. And you got over them. And then they come forward shockingly. You thought they'd never show up, but they come forward. But you're rejecting that offer, Four of Cups. And you got this King of Pentacles. So some of you, you stick with your King of Pentacles over here because King of Pentacles is that stable person who has a stable plan for life and for their relationship. So some of you may have that F boy or F girl showing up from the past. You may reject that offer because you have a King of Pentacles and you're not going to jeopardize that for some F boy or F girl. I see that being the tower. Like someone just showing up out of the blue because it is a message that comes out of the blue. It's like a hey or a what's up type of message out of nowhere. Weird how that just showed up, but the tower, the way it tried to come out and it still ended up like coming out, you needed to know. You needed to be forewarned that someone's going to show up. So what other love messages? Okay. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Maybe you can open up to this person if they are that type who listens. They do look like it. I'm requited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This could be that, that person who shows up out of nowhere. It could be that you're just not attracted to them. Like maybe in the past you were like head up heels in love, attracted to them, but they hurt you. Now it's going to be like, I'm not even attracted to you. Goodbye. You see, release your ex. See, the time has come to clear your energy. You're releasing someone from the past who really hurt you. Maybe you're still healing from that person and then they show up and it's like, what the hell? Maybe you're still healing from that. Maybe they caused you to have this anxiety, these, these trust issues, this love trauma. So this person who caused you trauma, love trauma in the past is showing up, but you're releasing them. So for a lot of you, even if you're single right now, you're still moving towards this King of Pentacles, someone stable, someone real, someone who will be there. Like I just get this feeling of someone just being there, being present. If you don't know this person yet, you will. And the feeling that I'm getting is just stability. Like I feel, I get this feeling like someone's not leaving no matter what. It's like a, a angel type of feeling, like a guardian type of feeling. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Remember, these types of wounds can affect self-love, make you feel, you know, down about yourself. You're needing to restore that self-love, that empress energy by healing. What's the advice for Aquarius? Luck is on your side, Sagittarius. Energy could be me in a Sagittarius. Um... I mean, it rhymes with Aquarius, but I don't, I don't know if you guys, well, yeah, you're, you're, you're compatible with Sagittarius. <laughs> we have meditate and contemplate, see, Pisces energy, but you look at this, meditate, and you're going to be doing a lot of this, maybe you're going to be doing, I mean, I would recommend, you know, anxiety meditations for healing anxiety, clearing negative energy, all of that stuff. Doing it consistently, because that's the only way it works. Consistently, don't just do it one day and stop. <laughs> do it for at least seven days, then try to go for 30. You can take days off in between. I recommend taking days off in between. Too much of one thing can be, you know, not so good. But I know people who just over meditate. There's such a thing as over meditating. Just like over medicating, 
too much will make you feel lightheaded just a warning so just 10 20 minutes a day you can take a day off in between each day just recommending because i've seen it i've seen it expect powerful change new moon so this is a new beginning for you even if you're sticking with this current person here if you're already with this king of pentacles type male or female um things are going to change for you because when you heal you'll literally be thinking differently like your thought your, your thoughts won't be fear thoughts of you know they won't be anxiety thoughts they'll be more healthy that improves the quality of your life is what i'm hearing we also have energy the energy is gaining momentum something's getting ready to happen you already know you got this tower moment coming up where someone's showing up out of the blue who you don't want to hear from unless you have scorpio in your chart and you're gonna take pleasure in rejecting them but i i don't see if you don't have scorpio in your chart i don't see you um looking forward to this contacts from this person from the past but it may happen healing 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 is your main theme for june so aquarius this is what i'm seeing for you oh the signs that could be showing up in your life um we have virgo pisces cancer fellow aquarius aries leo sagittarius pisces leo again libra yeah those are the signs look out for those signs um so yeah check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect like if you enjoyed thank uh tongue tied my goodness thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one